So here's a quick little thing which um, I thought some of you may be interested in. Um, I've got a... This was kindly passed on to me by one of the viewers and we've shown it before. It's a Take 2000. We've programmed it for um, three simplex channels on 70 Sems amateur radio. Channel 2 is 433.5, which is the calling channel. And channel 4 is our repeater, which is GB3GR. So, what I want to do is I want to see what the power is now we've set this at 17 watts and so probably that was done a year ago and there's a reason I'm doing this. So it's picture in picture on it is. So we're on the 30 watt scale and when I key up we are getting between 15 and 20 watts. So this is this test set the maximum power it can read is 30 watts. So business radio in the UK is highly unlikely to ever go over 25 watts, hence a test set that does 30. Of course the annoying thing is the other scale is 3 watts, so when we're doing CB radios uh, we're having to use the 30 watt scale which is a bit coarse. Anyway, we, we tune them up uh, on, the, on the 3 watt scale till they go over the uh, full scale deflection and then we, we do it over the 30 and it makes it easier. Now, what I want to do, I've got a couple of Chinese radios here, which we bought about five years ago when we did the repeater, because we needed to do some range tests, and these Chinese radios reckon to be 60 watts output, but I've never actually checked the power. So we did the test, they're back in the box, we're going to flog them on, no interest to me. Uh, to be honest, there's nothing I want to do over 25 watts. So... Um, back to this. So I want to show that this radio is doing 17 watts on this meter because what I'm going to now do is the only meter we've got which will read UHF um, at higher power levels than 30 watts because all the test sets we have here are ex we've got three of these which are 30 watts uh, I don't even know what the quartz lock one is, is rated at uh, well it says 300 watts on it, but there's a there's a caution thing, so I'm not quite sure uh, what that means. So we're not going to we're not going to risk that. It probably is an option that isn't fitted. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to put a dummy load into a hobby type meter. We're going to see what this then reads into a hobby meter. Right. So what I've done was take picture and picture off. I've made up a BNC2 um, PL259 lead, and these are solder plugs, not crimp. The next meter we've got, and I've had this since 87, is an RS sold VELTS meter, which allegedly does UHF, and it's what we've been using on UHF business radios for 30 years. But I don't believe its meter so it may be sold by RS but I just think it's it's a hobby grade meter so let's see so we'll put it into the well the 20 watt range because we know the radio is doing 17 and a half so we've got the dummy load in the back I don't like PL259s because at UHF they're just about dummy loads in themselves so I don't know how this works so let's see what happens because we just do SWR with it so it's gone beyond full scale deflection we plugged into the right holes yep So in the 200 watt range, it says we are doing 20. It's gone beyond full scale deflection on 20. So there's 50. 10, 20, 30. It says we're doing about 32 watts, which is double what we really are. 
So, as I say, it's all right for SWR, but it's not all right. So we've got another hobby meter, which is definitely sold for the actual hobby, and I think it's a one of these diamond types. So I'll go and get that, and we'll probably have to make up yet another lead. So this time, we got the NAS RS400, obviously available as diamond and other names. So I've got the dummy load connected. So if we go into, we check the SWR of the dummy load to calibrate. So we still know that it's the same set, it's doing 17 and a half watts. SWR, and you can see with the dummy load, it one point to uh, less than 1.1 so yeah calibrate um power so it's swinging across in the 20 watt range it actually says about 16 watts so in fact that fits in with what our marconi test set says so you'll see it's 140 megs to 525 megs. How does this work? Off. Reflect. Okay. Yes, so that's fine. So if we now put this into 200 watt mode, we should be getting a reading somewhere down here. It starts to become inaccurate, doesn't it? It's, it's saying something like, uh, on that scale it's something like 25 watts, but on the 20 watt scale it was true. Let's go back to 20 watt scale, and that's about where we should be. So what we're now going to do, is we're going to substitute the radio, so we'll put that away, we know that that reads about the same. So we're going to put the tape out of the way, and we're going to replace it, with a cheap, a cheap Chinese set. So we're going from a... which reckons to be something like 60 watts output. And we never tested the output. When I programmed this for what we were doing uh, on our repeater, all I did was the power supply said we were drawing X number of amps. I thought, well, that's uh, that looks about right. So we'll get it connected to our high power power high power supply. We've got one which does 20 amps for business radios. So I'll get that connected up. Okay, so I've got that connected up, and as you can see, we're on 433.55, just like we were on the Tate radio. If I press transmit, we're drawing about seven and a half amps. That doesn't sound like 60 watts, but we'll see. So I haven't altered anything on here. We're still in the 20 watt scale. So it should be well over end stop. It's well over end stop. We go up to the 200 watt scale and it is doing what? Well, according to that, it's doing about 45 watts. Right. And to be honest, from the power consumption, that's probably about it. Now we've got another of these, so I'll go and fetch it. It looks the same, but it's a different make. Okay, so once again, we've now changed to the TYT radio. So this is the TYT TH9000D It's supposed to be 60 watt So we'll do the same thing again Yeah, it's Well, I would say nearer 40 So I don't think they're doing What they say they do and the current consumption on this one is slightly less. Now we programmed these for full whack power because of the test we were doing. And bear in mind our amateur radio license is 
currently 400 watts, so well within at 40 or 50. But we thought these were going to be supposed to be 65, 60, whatever they say. But they're not, just like everything else. Um, so there we go. That's that's what I wanted to do. And once again, we've got meters that lie. So put it in the 20 watt scale. It'll be well above there, as you can see. But I thought you'd find that interesting because once again, um, things that say they're a particular power clearly aren't. So I can now trust that uh, this meter is more or less um, what what it says it is because we've proved that between the mark only test set and a radio of a known power and then you can see what we've done so I would say that this is just over 40 watts I would say that the other one we tried is nearer 45 watts and there we are thanks for watching